previously on Survivor. Welcome to the final two. Um. <laughs> Faluke was juggling two competing final two deals. In my mind, I don't really know who's my number two. Fearing the physical strength of the guys, an all-girls alliance formed. This is three boys. Clutch. We can literally uh, pick them off one by one. But Victoria had doubts. I don't. I'm not like fully on board, just because I don't really trust Holly. After a superlatives challenge revealed a lot about the players' perceptions, Terry and Harry started to feud. I'm sorry about no worries. No worries. No, I know Frat sucked. Leaving the girls with a choice between Harry the physical threat and Terry the mental threat. The whole time Terry's been playing this act, I guess, that he's like really busy and he doesn't care that much about Survivor. I'm pretty sure that's a really big act. And besides Holly keeping an old promise with Harry. You already know I'm voting for you. Sorry. The group unanimously sent him home. Harry, the tribe has spoken. Six are left but only one can claim the title of sole survivor. Who will be voted out tonight? Um, I was kind of sad to see him go because getting to know him throughout these past few months has been really nice, but my next targets are Holly, Terry, and Zach. Not necessarily in that order. They're all really big threats, and I think at the end, there are people that Luke might consider taking to the end over me. And I would actually be like really comfortable going to the final two with Luke because I feel like our chances of winning are pretty much the same and I might even kind of like a leg up over her. I felt so great about that Harry look. It was nice to see him gone. Especially after that comment. He's also a really annoying player. Uh, so it was, it was great to see him finally taken out of the game. I think the strongest alliance is me, Terry, Victoria, actually. Faluke I can't trust because of when she talks to Holly. Holly I don't trust at all. And Marissa, I don't know what she's doing. I can trust Terry because we had an alliance since the beginning, saying we're gonna make it to the end. And I just told him I have the idol, so he better fucking trust me, because I just told him my biggest secret of the game. And I think I can trust Victoria too. But I don't want to tell Victoria I have the idol, so. I really want Holly gone. She's a big challenge threat, she's also likable. I've wanted her gone for a while now. And this is the right opportunity, because I don't think that she has an idol. I'm really paranoid. <laughs> oh no, I'm just like, survivor, I don't... Like, so far, we literally have not going good. Everything is gone according, according to, to plan. plan. <laughs> I want to trust Fluke and Victoria, which are like me and like them two, like solid three, and then Marissa's like the fourth. But then I'll see like Victoria go and like whisper to Terry, and I'm like, what are you saying? <laughs> like, I need to know. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know. I just, I'm like really paranoid. I overthink everything. I try not to. So now we have our pickings of Terry and or Zach. Zach. We know Zach doesn't have a hidden immunity idol because, because. I stole it. <laughs> I mean, just to stay true to my word, I would take Faluke if I won the final immunity and I had to choose who I was bringing. And I feel like if anyone deserves to sit next to me, it's her. I'm not going to take someone just because I feel like I can beat them. I'm going to take someone that I feel like deserves to be there. So I might lose because of it, but I mean, character. Zach had the Hukatana one, so I think the Rafiki one is dead. But she's just like talks, 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 and eventually, if you keep talking and you don't shut up, you're gonna make you're gonna say the wrong thing and you're gonna make the wrong enemy. So I feel like I could beat her if it came down to it. I feel like Zach really wants me to go home. He doesn't trust me, which I don't understand because. I give the boy everything. He could be if he You did steal his idol. <laughs> I also take. <laughs> I think if my alliance stays together, it'll be cake. It'll be a cakewalk to the final two. It's just maintaining the through line throughout the week to make sure everyone's on the same page, no one's getting schemy ideas. Also, I keep playing it off to people that we're like not that close and I don't no. trust because I want them to not I know. 
I'm really good friends with Feluke's roommate and she overheard Feluke saying that, oh yeah, I told Holly that I have the idol. And then I asked Feluke about it later, like really nonchalantly. She's like, oh no, only you know about it. And so that happened. <laughs> Terry, sad. Unless Marissa starts acting funny. No, here's the thing though. Or unless we feel some type of way about Holly. If it goes that way, we're giving Holly a lot of power. True. Recently, Holly and Blue have been getting really close. And I know that they established that alliance first without including me or Marissa. And she definitely has a lot of ties to basically everyone on the jury. So I was thinking Terry, Marissa, Marissa, and Zach. Zach. But Terry, as I said before, he was really like strategic. He thinks a lot about Survivor and I think the more I've gotten to know him the more I can tell that him being you know away all the time even though like he is very busy he also is really invested in Survivor right if we, keep, if we keep Zach around for one round then he'll be like oh yeah I'm good with my three you know and then no bye but then what if we get to the end and it's Zach you me and Holly and then they're gonna be like well we're the core three and then he's gonna be like, well, we are the core three. Then we just get rid of Zach. Yeah. Or we just get rid of Holly. We're gonna have to decide about our core three. Zach, he's a pretty big physical threat. So he's also someone who we'll probably have to take out soon because if he gets to the final, I feel like it was Zach and maybe a girl at the final two, most of the boys would vote for Zach just because he's a physical competitor. I really don't think Terry has it. And we know Zach doesn't have it. We have our picking. Yeah, we can do whatever we want. So, hopefully one of the girls wins the challenge. We can freak both of them out. I don't think Zach has- I don't think Zach has- told me she stole it. <laughs> it's a secret, but that would be my next plan, as long as neither of them win the idol. Come on in, guys. Are right, you guys ready for your next community challenge? Yeah! Thanks, Luke. Okay. Oh, Kiss yeah. Marissa. <laughs> Thanks, my community. <laughs> Thank you. So, for today's challenge, there are six poles right around here. Oh, we're three. pole dancing? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Right. There are little footholds on each of these poles that are very narrow. Oh, yes. Okay, you gotta stand up on the footholds, hold the pole, stand here for as long as possible. Are you serious? Person who stands the longest wins immunity. Are you serious? Safe from the vote. So Austin serious? was like, sitting in his room like, challenge. I what challenge could I do? All right. You don't know what he did today. All right, Fluke, Victoria, Marissa, and Terry at the bottom. Holly, Zach up the top. Three, two, one, this challenge is on. Why do you have to have this so late, Terry? <laughs> This is all your fault! It's past my bedtime, Terry. All because of you! I don't sleep. Do they really make you do that much stuff? That's awful. Why would you join that? <laughs> How you doing, Fluke? I'm okay. Yeah. My boyfriend is tall, dark, and handsome. Uh, we're going through some issues right now. It's a love-hate relationship. I hate him, but I hang on, even though I know it's not good for me. Oh. This is actually slightly more comfortable. I stand for five hours to shift over here, so first I got the phone off. <laughs> Hello. Hello. That's Austin, Paris, the Caribbean, and Unison. Okay. okay. One, two, three. Da 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 Right, Luke, I just let, let it go. go. Let that pole go. Let it 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 go. Let it
Let this pole rage on! You follow it, Victoria? No. The pain never bothered me anyways. <laughs> you got it for a Thank you, Marissa. Appreciate it. We're all this important to win this one. Hanging in there. What do you think? You got you gonna be able to pull this one out? I'm hanging in there to see how long I can hang in there. I doubt I can hang in here longer than that. Okay, if I'm the first one to fall, everyone can't go over me. I'll take that sacrifice. Raise your hand if you will not go over me if I fall first. Shit, I think Everyone's raising their hand, Fluke. I swear on my mom. I'm Barbara Jane Winston's wife. All right, I may be about it, y'all. Stay tuned. <laughs> what? All right, well, give me, give me at least two minutes off. to decide if this is a good bet or not. We just need to do it, Blue Jay. No problem. You have to do it in ten. No, Nine. I make the rules, Ben. I will do it in the next 150 Where? seconds. I will do it in the next 150 seconds. Why not now? Because Terry. <laughs> Who's not voting for me? I'm too level. Are you funny? Are you funny? Really? None of us will. Hey, right, the dog show, man. Oh my god, Luke. Where is your mother? He's just trying to hurry up. I'm raising my fucking hand. I'm gonna count to three if you raise your hand, it's a deal. I swear on all that is good. You better be good to your word. Ready? Three, two, one. I'm down. Felipe is the first one out of this challenge. Everyone has sworn they will not vote for her at the next trap council. Thanks, Dean. And yes. I don't need to go. Challenge. Let's do it. Stand almost any longer. I'm wasting more sleeping time. <laughs> I have an exam tomorrow. Are you? Marissa is down. Second player out of the challenge. Congratulations on being the determinant of your own life. Thank you. Victoria, Terry, Holly, and Zach fighting for the spot. Guaranteed spot in the final five. I just want Terriers off the drop. That's all I want. Mean. How are you guys doing? How long do you think you can go for? No idea. Zach, how long can you go for? Probably an hour. What? Bullshit! What about you, Holly? All night! JK, not all night. <laughs> Give it up now. To reach the inner thighs. <laughs> Holly. Struggling. Holly drops out of the challenge an hour and ten minutes in. Ow. <laughs> if I can't walk in class tomorrow, you're picking me up and carrying me. <laughs> I feel like part of the reason why Zach and Terry are really sticking to this is because they really have no idea where they are in the game. I, I don't know, like, I don't want to quit, but you know, physically I like feel myself not being able to handle it anymore. <sighs> oh, no. How bad do you want to win this one, Terry? So bad, especially this far on top three, I'm not quitting. Fuck it. If I fall, I'm falling because I can't go anymore. Almost an hour and 20 minutes into the challenge, Zach's still at it. Gonna keep fielding your leg, get those cramps, ignore them. I have four bananas today, I don't get cramps. It is just about 2 o'clock in the morning. You guys have been on here for almost an hour and a half, still going. Terry, Victoria, and Zach going at it.
if you drop your phone. Thank you. Can we all find us a moment of the rich and we all get down? Harry, yes. What do you say to that? I don't want to go down, but I want to go over it, sir. I'd be up for that. All right. He wants to go what? If we all drop a phone, we all drop that. Not happening. What? That no one takes a minute? No. One of us can just choose, like, we just choose to go out. Rock, paper, scissors. What? I'm not kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Alright, who has the earliest birthday? No, no, no. If you beat most people, then you win. Yeah, I know, but it's just depending on who goes first. What? Are you born in January? No, I was born in August 31st. No. Fuck in December. Alright, so it's me versus Mario. Whoever wins, that goes to you. Okay, deal. Alright, ready, Mario? Ready! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Shoot a paper! Alright. I'm, I'm coming down. Oh God, Wait, what? Oh. Zach is out of this challenge. We are down to Terry and Victoria. Zach, by rock, paper, scissors. You guys have to do rock, paper, scissors. No, you guys, no, no, you guys have to do it. Because I got down for do this, Victoria. She was telling us, I, you won. Victoria, just do it and this is over. We agree. Oh, Terry drops out. Victoria wins immunity. All right, Victoria. Oh my God, that's so <laughs> Victoria. This is how immunity works. Victoria, you have immunity. Victoria, you are safe in the boat, guaranteed a spot in the final five. Ollie, Zach, Terry, I stayed a while, but nothing for you. Austin was like, Victoria wins, and I was like, what? What just happened? This feels pretty good. I'm definitely very happy. I was so annoyed at the challenge because I went with like no sleep and so like my mindset was not very good but for me I was just like oh I'm gonna get to this mark and then once I got to that time mark I was like okay now I can get to this next time mark. I actually feel like that. <laughs> I actually would have gone through with the wrong papers. Yeah you should feel actually. I just felt bad like honestly I just felt really bad. You know the fact that Terry just fell off somehow, that was pretty shocking too. Well, I mean, I'm not kidding. he could like last 30 years. more seconds. Just like, yeah, what? but he wouldn't, he wouldn't do it. No, he wasn't going to do it. But it, like, it also really struck me, he was like really angry for maybe a minute and then he just checked himself. I feel like that's one of Terry's strengths. Like he really doesn't show emotion unless he feels like he can gain something from it. And so that's also why I find him to be a really big competitor. Yeah. Had either Zach or Terry won, the vote for the four girls would have been really obvious because we would have gone after the other guy. So the fact that I won, you know, that's great because like I, I have some leeway in like my options for the vote tonight. Victoria, obviously Victoria can't go home and Fluka and Holly aren't even on the chopping block. So it's definitely one of the guys or Marissa. My plan is to try and get I, I would talk to Terry. I told Terry I had the idol, and I'm. I think they're gonna probably go for Marissa, but or me, but or me or Terry because we're now the last two guys. But I mean, I, I want them to go for me now because I want to use the side. I don't wait. Or can we get some? I mean, can we get someone else other than me without me using it? So I don't know.
plan was to win MVP this week, which I feel like was in my control to win, but I didn't. I don't necessarily feel like I'm on the chopping block this week. And you know, I made everybody promise that they wouldn't vote for me at elimination, which do I believe it? Not really, but at least that's one little conscious, there's an obstacle for them voting for me now. I have my own personal sense of immunity, and if anybody tries to cross me, then they're not about it. So actually, instead of trying to arrange a meeting with Zach, Tara, and Victoria, I'm gonna wait till they come to me. Instead of trying to arrange a meeting with Marissa, Victoria, and Holly, I'm gonna wait till they come to me and I'm gonna feel like I have power for once in my life. <sighs> so, a possibility for travel would be to split the votes just, just in case then the four girls can just come together and, and vote for vote. one of them. I didn't really think up until last week about the fact that people are gonna be voting on the final two. So I have to put it in a way that the person that I'm up against optimizes the amount of votes that I can have. Now I'm not gonna have everybody, unless I probably go up against Terry, but the boy can't schedule his life, which is always a reason to send him home. But at the end of the day, is he competition? Not really. The only thing is, what if Zach, Terry, and Victoria vote together, and then we're split 2-1, two, two, one, and, and then they, have they wreck vote. us. But is Victoria going to do that? I feel like if we get rid of Zach, we know Victoria is, is ours 100%. And Zach was the other one most deserving to win the game. <laughs> yeah. So that leaves me and you to be most deserving. And also, <laughs> it really depends on how Victoria is voting, because... She be doing some shifty stuff, and I don't know if I could trust her necessarily. So should we not split the votes? I don't think we should split the votes. So we but let's not reach out to Marissa until we talk to Victoria. Victoria. But I know, at the end of the day, if she's going to vote me out or she's going to go against me, it's going to twinge her a little. I feel like I'm under. I feel like I'm under her skin to the point where she wants to play the game, but there's like a faluke collar on her. We can gauge if we think she's. Gonna I really, really, I'm hoping she doesn't. I think. Like I think she's with us. Yes. Told her, you know, I'm about it. If you're about it, let's get to this final two. And I made her bed. If she wants to lie in it, cool. We're, we'll be there in that queen size together. But the whole blind side thing, I don't like to be blind. I like hearing. Hearing is one of my favorite. No, seeing is one of my favorite senses. Well, congratulations on your win. Thank you. So, now we have our pickings of Jack or Terry. The good thing about, like, Zach, though, I feel like once Terry's gone, he would be, like, coming to us. Or he's gonna show. go batshit crazy and try and take you and then take Marissa. And while I am confident in Marissa, I don't want to tempt her. Like, we know she mm -hmm. doesn't like Terry. So she's never That's going true. to run to Terry. We don't know how she goes about Zach. And she. <laughs> Ring blast, she broke him down. And well, most of us are We had a little conversation about the pros and cons of eliminating other secretary and then. Um, so we could just set in, like, we would count down and then all say a name. Three, two, one. Zach. Zach. Oh my god! <laughs> that worked. <gasps> the biggest reason why I said that was because I thought that was the name that Holly and Luke were going towards more. Um, in terms of a threat to me, I would rather see Terry gone before Zach. Hazen! We need a clean. <laughs> Final three. <laughs> True. Final three. On three. three. Right? One, one, two, three, final three. three. Yes. All right. Holly, Faluke, and I, we said we'd be final three, but then, you know, the last two are the ones that are actually getting voted for. So, you know, can't tell who Holly wants to take to the end, and I don't really think it would be me if she had that choice. They're going for you. Okay. And I think Faluke is for his own. Okay. Are you okay. sure? Yes. Okay. I have the hidden immunity. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! I thought so! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna wake up. Yeah, I know, but no, 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 but Vic, Victoria, you have to promise me they're voting for me. No, I don't. Okay, I already, I've already had this planned out. Oh my god. Did you talk did to you Terry? Talk to me? Oh my yeah. god. Did Terry tell you this? No, I did. Okay. This is what we're doing. You're voting with him. Okay. Me and Terry are gonna vote for him. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. So 
the plan now is Zach and Terry vote for Holly. All the girls will vote for Zach, and then Zach plays his idol, and Holly's gone. And it works really well for me because I'll pretend that I had no idea, and Luke will trust me, and Zach and Terry will also trust me. So, you know, it's a win win for me. I've been stressing out about this because I was like, if Zach doesn't get up, go home, Terry's going home. And if Terry doesn't go home, Zach's going home. I'm like, I don't know what to do. Okay, well, oh my god, okay. 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 Holly and Felipe, for some reason, aren't really thinking about the idol right now, which I find kind of interesting because I'm pretty sure Felipe told Holly about the fact that she has the idol. Um, I'm kind of confused about why they're not considering the other one. But you can't tell anything. And don't vote with us. No, I know. So I'm not gonna. And you have to tell us if they switch over to Terry, because I have to hand my hand. No, no, I know. Gosh. It's just freaking out. Like there's there are idols out there. Holly, breathe. No, it's breathe. Why breathe. not just put the Why not just put the votes first? I mean, see how it plays out, and then if they don't play either idol, then we all just vote for Zach. Okay, so it can't hurt. It can. How are we splitting them? Are we doing two and two? Because then it will be a two-two-two tie, and then we just all vote for Zach. The four of us. Yeah. Two, 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 tie. And then it really that seems hurt. riskier. Right. As long as some of us are gonna flip on it, like us four, then it doesn't matter. Safer. Is it really though? All right. If some crazy shit happens tonight, no one say a word to me, or else I will literally punch everyone in the face. I'm just Why? saying. Why? Because I'm freaking out, and I don't want crazy shit to happen. We okay. got each other. Before I don't want to kind of still see the problem with it, but okay. You're making my heart hurt. Last night when we met, we were like, oh, okay, we're all going to vote for Zach. But Holly's afraid that something's going to happen. Um, like, Terry has the idol. Me or too. Zach has the idol. I feel like they slightly know that we're together. Just like, a, by, just a little bit. I think sure. they have I an about, like, after once, uh, once we make this move, it's going to yeah. be very obvious. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I'll be but too late. But at that time, when it's too late. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, maybe we should do it. But then, what are we gonna do after it? After it ties, then we, then then we, we all vote for Zach. We don't even need to talk about it. We just all in agreement that we vote for Zach. Okay. Zach just needs to go. Um, I still don't even know if he knows that I have his idol. So we'll see how that all works out. All right, let's do it. You do you want to do it? I do I'll not do want it. to be forcing anyone to do it and then have it fuck up and then yeah. Didn't have to be like this, Zach. You made it like this, Zach. So let's talk about last night's challenge. So Victoria, uh, how'd that one feel for you? That felt great. Um, it was a really good challenge. I think everyone did really, really well. Like even for Luke, she stuck around for like 40 some minutes, which was much longer even last season. So, you know, like it shows that everyone has a ton of strength. Tara, you were a little angry after you slipped off no, the pole at the end. <laughs> uh, why, why are you so upset to lose that one? I was so mad because literally like two more minutes and that would have been a shot to win right there. I, I was not going to like quit at any moment and to slip at that moment was the worst feeling in the world because I did not see it coming. I had no pain whatsoever. I was just talking and it just happened. So Zach, you put the end of the challenge to luck. Why? I don't know. I think, I think, it, was, I think it was fun. And I was true, true to my words. So I jumped off. Yeah. Uh, speaking of true to their word, I just like to remind uh, the cast that uh, we all swore that we wouldn't vote off Luke, so <laughs> <laughs> just remembering that I was your first to drop scapegoat, uh, I'd like you all to remember that. So continue. Yeah. I'm sorry. Holly, were you okay with Luke's promise? Just say on the poll, like you can't vote for me. I mean, it's a chance because like you, no one has to say true to their word. Exactly the same, but like it was a chance to talk. Ohana. Ohana means family. When you're in a family, you make sacrifices. My ankles were rough. My hips were about to call the chiropractors themselves. So I I took a risk for the team, and I'm putting my trust in them because if you play this game without trust, you're just going to drive yourself insane. Holly, now that you moved on from that, are there alliances now that you're worried about that are growing? There's always 
moment. So, Marissa, the last time we also talked about how you were the only Rafiki left in the game, does that worry you that, you know, now that you're the only one left, they could all just say, hey, let's finish what we started and take you out? Um, yeah, it makes me worried. I really wanted to stay in the challenge to win another immunity, but I had an exam the next day. So, and the case was very, we started at 12. <laughs> so, I was not going to put Survivor over school. I'm definitely worried I shouldn't have given up so easily, but then again, that's the price I have to pay. Zach, would it be easy to say, let's just take out Marissa tonight? I mean, from my perspective, yes, but I think being the one of the two guys left, I'm definitely worried about what could go on because there could definitely be like a girl power set going on around us, me and Terry. So I mean, I'm I'm pretty worried. I don't know. Terry, are you worried about that four girls getting together? Yeah, it's definitely a theory, but you feel safe in your alliances. I'm, I'm looking ahead. Victoria, are you keeping your immunity? Wow. I am keeping my Alright, so you guys cannot vote for Victoria. It is time to vote. Um, Victoria, you're safe. You can vote first. I keep. Sure. When I had my confession with Austin earlier tonight, I was a lot more confident about me being able to stay in the middle. And unfortunately, I don't think that's the case anymore. You know, I think I tried my best in persuading everyone not to skip a vote. The, everyone has in the girls, but fortunately that didn't happen. I'm sorry. This is very close. Let's see how it goes. Like I said before, you can't play the game without trust. So, what are you going to do? Just based on the fact that you're probably the strongest girl right now, and you know how to play the game the best. There you go. Ooh. This really needs to work out. Victoria has immunity, and Zach has the idol, but I don't have shit. So this needs to work out for the rest of my life. Okay, if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Like, you bring it up. <laughs> that is not the real me. <laughs> In the event that a hit immunity idol is played. All votes cast against that person will not count. This is a hidden immunity idol. All votes cast for Zach will not count. All right, once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to the tribal council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote, Zach does not count. Zach does not count. Third vote. Terry. Holly. That's one vote Terry, one vote Holly, two votes left. Fifth vote. Holly. Two votes Holly. One vote Terry, one vote left. Six vote. Eleven person vote out of Survivor Terrapin Trials. Holly, that's three, that's enough tonight.
Holly, the tribe has spoken. You are the fourth member of our jury. Alright, well, based on the looks on some of your faces, tonight was not expected by all. Um, you're in the final five of this game, and you have another chance for things to get crazier. We've got a challenge right now, so grab your stuff, get ready. Well, this sucks. Really bad. Victoria really screwed me over. And her chances of winning the game over, like, she's not going to win against that for Terry. And I'm sure so I'm not going to vote for her, but this is Survivor. I do love a good blind side, even though it's me, whatever. I mean, it happens. Nothing I can do about it, but it was a good experience overall. I was, I'm happy with how I played. I did have a good plan, but something should still work out. So. Bye. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. Next time on Survivor. Faluke is left reeling after the stunning tribal council. I was surprised Zach had the idol. Uh, I don't know where the fuck that came from. This is a joke. Then what the fuck did I steal? And she's left with one unlikely ally to turn to. Faluke, I may have had a target on you your back since day one. But you're good in my books now, and you're a true friend.